Hello and welcome back to the Wasteland, everybody. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, where today we're going to be taking a look at a very special rifle. At least it's very special to me. This is going to be the Battle Rifle. This is based off of the M1 Garand, or the M1 Grand, however you would like to say it. This is a 308 rifle, which is fairly close to what it actually is in real life with the 30-06. I know there has been some that have been converted to 308, so still fitting and about the same-ish cartridge more or less. This is a full-powered rifle cartridge being fired from this rifle. This one is one of the coolest guns in the game. I love the look of it in-game, but I've got a mod that makes it look even better, so I really, really like the way this one looks. So let's talk about the base stats of the battle rifle. The battle rifle requires 75 guns and 6 strength to wield, so it is pretty high on the gun. Strength is fairly high as well, but I feel like most gun-based characters will have about that much strength. Maybe a little bit more than that, depending on what build you're kind of going for. For a sniper build, you're probably going to have more. For just a regular gun build, you'll probably have this or maybe even a little bit more, depending on what you want in your arsenal. The standard battle rifle does 48 damage per shot. This one does 93 damage per second. It actually does a pretty good amount of damage per shot and damage per second. It is a 308 though. And the rule of thumb in Fallout is that the 308 weapons are all really good, at least in New Vegas. That might not be the case in some of the other Fallout games. And this one does 48 crit damage, so about the standard amount of crit damage that you would expect. This one has a one times multiplier, so nothing crazy for crit chance. This one only costs 25 action points to use in VATS. It's actually a really good VATS weapon, especially compared from the damage to the action point cost. It is really, really nice to be using this in a VATS build. This one has 0.55 spread, so it is one of the least accurate full-size rifles in the game. That's not a fully automatic weapon, but it's not painfully inaccurate or anything. It's still really good at medium and close range. Out at longer ranges, though, is where the spread is going to potentially hurt you. It's still fairly accurate, even at very long range, but it's not the most accurate gun in the game. This one holds eight rounds in it, like a standard M1 Garand has a super fast reload for those eight rounds because you reload all of them at once, so that's really nice. This one weighs nine and a half weight, which makes it fit at a very awkward weight since it isn't affected by heavy weight, which if it weighed half a pound more, then it would. <laughs> But unfortunately, it's always going to be at nine and a half weight. So it is kind of a heftier weapon overall. And the battle rifle has 300 item health. So it takes a long time for this to break. 300 item health is pretty good for this. This weapon is also unique to the Gunner's Arsenal DLC. So you do need to have that DLC. You also can only buy this from vendors, assuming you don't have mods that can put it in the game normally. But just about any sort of roaming trader can actually have a battle rifle on them. Meaning you can buy one of these very early on. And that is really strong because even early on, there are quite a few places where you can pick up 308 rounds. For the general pros of the battle rifle, this one does really high damage per shot, really high damage per second, has a very fast reload, and it has a great ammo type. 308s are amazing because they are super flexible in the amount of ammo that you get. We'll talk about that after we go over the cons. For the general cons, there is really only like two cons with the battle rifle in general. One is potentially long range accuracy. You might struggle at longer ranges, but at close and medium range, that's not going to be an issue. And if you're only using it in those ranges, then you don't have to worry about that. And you do have to buy this, so it can be a bit pricey. Battle rifles aren't the most expensive thing in the world, but they're not cheap. Let's also talk about the 308 ammunition. There is four different types of ammunition for the 308. You can have the standard rounds, which do standard damage, and that's still pretty good for basically every weapon that uses it, because every weapon that uses the 308 has pretty high damage and or pretty high damage per second. This gun is no exception. There is the hollow point rounds, which give you more damage. These up your damage by 75%. However, they do give the enemy three times the armor. That doesn't matter so much with 308. It will against very heavily armored enemies, but even against lightly armored enemies, you're still gonna be hitting them pretty hard. And against non-armored enemies, you're gonna be smacking them around. The hollow points are pretty cool in the 308. Then we have armor piercing rounds. This technically nerfs your damage by 5%, which doesn't really matter since all the 308 guns do pretty good damage per shot. This also breaks 15 armor away from the enemy, or 15 damage threshold away from the enemy, which is pretty strong. That basically ignores all light armor, and almost all medium armor, and even some heavy armors like metal armor. And when you're hitting as hard as you do with the 308 weapons, that is really nice. The only problem is you will have to buy the hollow points or the armor piercing round since you can't make them on a workbench, sadly. Unless again, you have mods. And then there is also one craftable ammunition that you can get if you have the perk hand loader. These are the jacketed soft points. The jacketed soft points break your gun a little bit quicker by about 50%. That actually doesn't matter so much with the battle rifle since it has such high item health. And it gives you 30% more damage in exchange for that. That is really nice, and the jacket itself points going through the battle rifle feel amazing in this. Hand loader and a battle rifle is one of my favorite things to grab early on in New Vegas, because it does 
change challenging fights into far less challenging fights early on. You can take on almost anything in the game. You can basically take on anything in the game, at least if you're playing the normal difficulty, if you just have those two combined, even at the very start. If you're playing on very hard, maybe not, but it will give you a huge advantage at the start if you want to go for that. So that is really cool. For an overall rating on my tier list, I would put the battle rifle right up into A tier. It is a very solid all around weapon that doesn't really have much downside. It's not overpowered by any means, but it's still really nice. There is also the unique version of the battle rifle that we got to talk about, which is actually in the base game. You don't need a DLC for this one. This one is called This Machine, which is only obtained through an unmarked quest. You have to go to Camp McCarran, and then you either have to do Contreras' quest or you have to turn him in. Turning him in is far faster, but then you lose Contreras as a vendor, and he sells a lot of 308 rounds, so you might not want to do that. If you want to do Contreras' quest, though, you do have to be a certain level. That level is at least 12 or higher. So you can't just run right there and do this unless, again, you want to just turn in Contreras, in which case you're going to need 50 science in order to hack his computer. Or potentially less than that if you have science magazines and other things that can buff up your intelligence or your science. You could also have comprehension at level 4 and that would only mean that you need 30 science in order to do this, so it could be done very early on if you'd like. This machine looks slightly different than a regular battle rifle, where it has a little bit of a different wood grain color to it, and it also has markings on it, or something carved into the side of it that says, This machine killed commies. Pretty fitting for a Fallout weapon, and pretty fitting for an M1 Garand anyway, so... Yeah, that's pretty awesome. For the base stats of this machine, this one requires 75 guns and 6 strength, same as the standard battle rifle. This one does 55 damage per shot, even more than the regular one. This one does 118 damage per second. This one does 55 crit damage, has a 1 times crit modifier, only costs 22 action points. So since the battle rifle only costs 25 and it was a really good VATS weapon, this is an even better VATS weapon than that one. This one is also slightly more accurate at 0.5 rather than 0.55. So that's kind of cool. It's still not going to be super accurate at very long ranges, but it's going to be pretty accurate at close to medium range where this weapon can really excel. This one also holds eight rounds in it. This one weighs nine and a half weight, and this one has a whopping 600 HP. That is a ton of HP, especially for a semi-automatic weapon. Most weapons like this don't get that much HP, and it makes it so this machine is practically unbreakable in a lot of ways because you're definitely going to be able to either buy a battle rifle and fix this up or pay a vendor to fix this up for you before you would ever have to worry about it breaking. And if you have jury rigging, this one, instead of counting with all the semi-automatic and fully automatic rifles, this one actually counts for all of the pump action, lever action, and bolt action rifles. So you can just repair this with a varmint rifle if you have jury rigging, which is really awesome. With the amount of health this thing has, it takes forever to break. This one is just a fantastic all-around everything weapon. It does, again, somewhat struggle at longer ranges, and you could argue that certain 308 weapons are better than this one, like some of the sniper rifles, but this one I would still say is a top tier weapon overall, just for a general purpose weapon for fighting everything. And that's why I'd put this machine all the way up into S tier, because it is one of my favorite weapons, and honestly one of the best weapons overall just kind of at everything. So in conclusion, would I recommend the battle rifle and this machine? Yeah, absolutely. If you're going with a Rifleman build, this one is going to be fantastic for you. You can buy battle rifles early on. You could run and do Contreras' quest really early on and get this machine. It is basically unbreakable. It shoots a really strong round. It's really good for the action point cost. It's just a super nice gun all the way around. So yeah, absolutely would recommend it. Tell me your thoughts on the battle rifle and this machine down in the comments below. This one has been requested a lot, which I can understand why this is a really, really cool gun. It also has the ping noise, so that's a big thumbs up for me. Tell me what other weapons you would like to see in this series. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.